Greetings and welcome to another Pokemon Horizons The Series anime episode preview discussion. This time I'm talking about the preview for episode 72, so let's get to it. In this episode, Liko and friends, guided by Perrin, will begin their search for Cleebor, one of the remaining three heroes they still need to find. Their search takes them to a mountain where they will encounter a bunch of Pokemon, both friendly and hostile. Mostly hostile, judging by the preview, which shows two Houndour, a Houndoom, a Trevenant, a Mandibus, and a Shiftree all attacking Liko and friends, forcing them to fight back. Floragato is seen battling Houndoom, while Crocalor and Kilowattro flying together. Glad to see that Kilowattro can still do this post Fuecoco evolution, are seen battling Mandibus and Shiftree, who are also flying together. Meanwhile, Dot and Perrin will come face to face with a Trebinant that is not too happy to see them, though it's unclear if they will battle it. I would assume they will, but perhaps they will just run. So obviously the search for Cleavor will be quite eventful. Going by the previous two episodes, it's very likely that at least one of these hostile Pokemon will terrestrialize, compounding the danger they will pose. My money is on either Trebinant or Houndoom, who do appear in the games as wild Terra Pokemon. Now, it's unclear where this episode will take place. In the preview, they just say a mountain. I would like to think they are going to the Timeless Woods, since this is where you find Blood Moon Ursaluna in the games at the behest of and guided by Perrin, who of course will do basically the same thing here in Horizons, but for Cleabor instead. But there is no evidence to support this. Regardless of location, I'm just glad Perrin is tagging along for the search, instead of just pointing Liko and friends in the right direction and then disappearing. She will at least get to do more and shine more than Carmine, at least for now. Also, if they will indeed go to the Timeless Woods, then Trebinant being the one who terrestrializes becomes more likely since the wild Terra Trevenant in the games is found in the Timeless Woods. We already saw them apply such logic for the Milotic in the previous episode, even down to the same Terra type. So Trevenant's Terra type should be normal. Conversely, the presence of a Trevenant might add credence to them going to the Timeless Woods. Now, judging by the title of the next episode, The Lone Warrior Cleebor, it's likely that in episode 72 they will not find Cleebor, or if they do, it will be at the very end of the episode. Basically, it's likely that Cleebor won't be properly introduced or explored until episode 73. Episode 72 will just focus on tracking it down. Speaking of which, the preview shows Liko finding slash marks on a tree. Obviously, it's likely this is Cleebor's handiwork, or at least Liko thinks so, which is why she takes a closer look. This seems to, judging by the white background that appears behind her, trigger a vision or something similar that will either reveal backstory for Cleebor or where exactly they can find it. Every hero thus far has had visions and flashbacks that reveal a bit about them and their relationship with Lucius. I doubt Cleebor will be any different. Though this might be the first time this happens without the hero actually being present. Though it's also possible that these slash marks just make Liko have a moment of inspiration or revelation. Which is to say she deciphers something about Cleebor or she realizes that these marks were made by it. But yeah, that's everything I've got for you in this video. This is honestly a very light preview in terms of things worth discussing or analyzing. I did my best to come up with things to talk about. Depending on the scale of the battles and other dangers Liko and friends will face, and the extent of how much we learn about Cleebor, this episode has the potential to be either good or just alright. The following episode will likely be the truly interesting one, but at least episode 72 will provide some more parent screen time, which is plenty enough, at least for me, to consider it a good episode. 
Plus, it will have a fair bit of action, which is exciting, even if we don't know just how good said action will be. Hopefully, it will be on the level of Dot and her team versus the Bombardier, which I think was a pretty good battle as far as battles against wild Pokemon go. Though, of course, we won't know the quality of this episode for sure until it airs on November 8. As always, I will review the episode once it airs, so please stay tuned for that. But that's the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it, and please share your thoughts down in the comments below. Consider supporting me directly either through channel membership, Patreon, or buy me a coffee. Subscribe for more Pokemon Horizons coverage, and click the links on screen to see my recent episode reviews. Thank you so, so very much for watching.